What's up wild ones? Justin coming to you from the tiny house. Just here putting the final touches on my house and I realized I wanted a garbage can slider for underneath my sink. I went to Home Depot and saw one for $106 Canadian and I knew I could make something cheaper than that. So if you're anything like me, you see what you want in the store and it's just too expensive, you can build it yourself. I know you can, I can, and I'm gonna show you how I did this project on Wild Rose DIY. So the first thing I'm going to do is cut down some two and a half inch pieces of wood and make two equal sized boxes. Those are going to act as my top and bottom of my framework for the garbage cans. I'm just using two and a half inch by three quarter inch pine for the framework of this garbage can slider. Then I'm just going to use my trusty Craig pocket hole jig to put it all together. Pocket holes are a super easy way to get really strong joints with minimal effort. I'm also going to use a little bit of Gorilla wood glue on all my joints just to make sure everything stays together. Then I'm going to use my Craig right angle clamp to keep everything nice and tight. When you clamp it down, then you can go ahead and make sure all the wood is perfectly aligned and then screw it in. So like I said before, I'm just going to make two of the exact same box. One is going to go on top and the other one is going to hold on to our plywood bottom. So now I'm just going to set the bit on my router to the exact depth of the plywood I'm going to use for the bottom. Then I'm just going to use my router to cut in a rabbit on the bottom box. This way I can just put my plywood bottom right inside of there and you'll never know it's there. Don't make the same mistake I did. Make sure that your pocket holes are going to be nice and below your router line. Otherwise your router bit's going to hit the screw heads. I'm just going to use a little bit of plywood OSB for the bottom of my box. It's really cheap and you're not ever going to see it anyway, so I'm just going to mark it out and cut it to the dimensions of the inside of my rabbits. Now since my router bit was rounded, all the corners of the bottom of the box are rounded too, so I'm just going to cut the corners of the plywood off with my circular saw. A perfect fit. Now I'm just going to use a little bit of wood glue and brad nails to hold that in place. Then I just cut down four more two and a half inch pieces of wood to the desired height of my framework and screwed them in. I 
pre-drilled all my holes just to make sure that nothing cracked when I put my screws in. Then I took the second box I made and just fit it right on top. And I pushed it down to make sure that it was flush with the other pieces of wood. Then I just clamped it down, made sure everything was flush, and screwed it in. Okay, so now that I have my box complete, I can go ahead and put the rails of my drawer on. So I just took the drawer uh, the rails apart and took this, this piece out. And I'm just gonna put it just on the edge, doesn't have to be anywhere exact. And I'm just gonna screw that down like I did with this side. Now I have my other drawer slide into place and I can go ahead and just screw this down. So what I did here was I had the rails attached to the bottom of the framework. I extended them and pushed them inside and then marked out all my holes. I couldn't get a good camera angle of it, so I'm just showing you how I screwed them down now. Then you just fit the box onto the drawer slides and push it in. Then just go ahead and load up your garbage cans. I have to arrange mine a little different since because of the plumbing underneath, but that's okay. All right guys, that's it. Another super simple build in the books. If you're anything like me, I know you want to build it yourself. So I think this is a great little project to do that. I saved $70 by building it myself and I got exactly what I want and I knew it would fit the size that I had. If you guys liked it, like, subscribe, comment. Let me know if you like it. Let me know if you want to see me build something else. Build one for grandma. I know she'd love it. And uh, I hope we'll see you on the next video on Wild Rose DIY.